But let's go ahead and drill the holes. Just turn it upside down and put it on the ground because our hole cutter has a leader on it. And let me grab a game tool. So we have here, we have a hole saw and it's a three inch hole saw. You know, just put it on here on this. We're drill. using a three inch because eventually I'm gonna put this three inch grommet on there Come and it'll be three inch. So I figured, ah, why switch around with different heads? Just use the same one you're gonna use on other on the other parts of the, the construction of this. So um, remember this three inch, it's gonna have this leader. Now what's gonna happen is as I'm drilling in, the first part of this drill is gonna go in no problem. But when this catches these little blades right here, it's gonna pull the drill. So it's better to get that first piece of the, that blade in there first, and then gradually start to come into this area right here. And then once you got a groove, then you could push hollowly hard. But otherwise it's gonna kick back on you. So let's do the first one right here in the mid center of this hole. One. You see, there's cutouts already here. So I'm using the cutouts because I know on the back side, I'm not going to run into one of these larger pieces yet. I'll, I'll cut into right some of these other larger ones, but let's just um, do the easy ones first. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to just get the first part in. Now, as it comes in, see how easy I'm going? Feel that groove. So let's do this about six times. So what we have here is that we're actually see this this last piece on there is keep, keeping us from going all the way in. So I have to punch this out. That little these two that I took out. Okay, so now we just need to knock these things out here. They're not easy at times, especially now that I I went a little bit too far and I it's all melted on and as I took it off so I can get to this, this back hole. Now, of course, we're showing you how to make these, but if you want us to make them for you, and buy them already assembled, we have that option too. Just, we just want to show you guys how to do it by your own. Save a few dollars. Just try and share the, share the knowledge. Okay, so now that we have this all nice and cleared out, we okay. continue drilling this one. And there you go. That is going to allow you to put the filter on top. Okay, as you can see, I put four holes. Some of our other designs will put a number of like six, seven. You know, it really, the four holes is going to be enough because what's going to happen is that the water's going to come from your two inch pipe when you're taking a shower, and that's only two inches. And here we have four six inch holes. So it's going to be able to distribute that water very easily down below. So let's take the lift. So. Turn it upside down, and then I'm gonna cut where that's gonna need. So now that we have this on the lid, we're just gonna trim a circle around it, and that'll give us our filter. Hola. Okay, so once this gets full with hair and stuff, we can take it out, give it a good hose down, get all that hair off into the trash or off to the side, and then put it back and use it a number of times until it gets so clogged up, that's when you get rid of it and just get a new one. But so looking for a new source where we can actually get um, coconut fibers, that way, the coconut fibers, when you throw it into the trash, it's going to break down. But until then, it's good old filter right here. Right. Do anything else away? I'm going to cut the remaining portion of this of this filter into a nice square, and we're just going to set it on top of the other filter. This way, it gives you the additional layer that you can just. Eventually, when this one gets clogged up, you can throw that away and still have one below it. Let's just trim off the edges real quick. There you go. 
I got two layers. And, work. and now, show how it works in there. This goes in here like this. And then this goes in here like this. And then this is going to sit on top like that. Now we're going to drill a hole right here so we can put the, the grommet and that's where the feeder pipe full flows in. And we're also going to drill two holes on the side. One is for the discharge of the gray water into the irrigation system. And the second hole is going to be for the power cord. Same drill bit, same drill, just uh, put it right there. Okay, so now that we have this hole drilled, we have this grommet. Now, what's cool about these grommets, they actually tell you what size of drill bit you have to use. So it's a, a three inch right there. And the front side says, oh, this is for a two inch pipe. We'll actually use an inch and a half pipe because a two inch pipe is just too hard to get in there, but it'll, an inch and a half will fit perfectly in there because inch and a half drain, which sounds weird, is actually two inches on the outside. So that goes in there like that. That goes in like that. So now what we're gonna do is let's, let's change the drill bit to, so for a three quarter inch grommet, Okay, so now these are three quarter inch grommets. We're gonna feed a three three quarter inch um, pipe through there. And this one we're gonna fit the, the power cord. And on the back side, it'll tell you, I need to drill an inch and a half drill bit. Inch and a half drill bit. Okay, I can put two holes right here. This one I'm gonna leave off until I put the power cord through there. Gotta do it this way. And then this is gonna go like this. Okay. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a great water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.